Today I'm at Milton Keynes, I'm at uh, Goodman Precision Engineering and MTD CNC have kind of travelled in force today. There's four of us here, uh, Lindsay, uh, Chloe, Ian and myself. In fact, Lindsay at the moment is just about to talk to Mark Goodman, the owner of the company. Now they moved into this new facility in September last year, right in the middle of the pandemic. It's twice the size of their previous place. Now I'm going to talk to Chloe while the interview's uh, happening behind us um, because she's got familiarity with obviously the Quasar machines with her uh, background. Um, Chloe, Mark's got, what's he got now, five Quasar machines. What's your uh, sort of your, your history and use of these machines and your opinion of them? In I think Quasars are a fantastic machine. I basically grew up learning on them, especially with the hide and hide control system. It's just so uh, engineer friendly and also as you can see he's bought five so there must be something in these quasars that he really likes. He's got three axis machines and then he's also got the MF400U which is the, the five axis. The, um, the portfolio of products is quite vast isn't it from Quasar. Could you maybe talk us through the, the the amount of machines that are available. Yeah, definitely. So it doesn't. They don't just do three axis, four axis, five axis. They do pallet systems. They do rotary axis systems as well. So anything that you look for, basically, they've got a whole range for. And it's not just a one tunnel machine tool provider. You can add your Maxia spindles onto there. You can add your ATC, so you can have 40 tools, 60 tools. So there's always options that Quasar can provide to make it a machine tool for your machine shop. I, I did notice that with this this machine behind us. It's got, is it 60 tools it's in it? It's got a 60 tool change and you can see because it's extended out the back. So obviously Mark's asked for that because he wants some more tools, which is great for sister tooling as well. So Even though the machine's only a three axis machine, it's still an advantage to have that amount of tools. I suppose it means you don't have to keep changing the tools in the machine. Yeah, definitely. And obviously you can set the, the tools up and have them in the back. And even because he's got more quasars, you know exactly what's in there. So you can swap and change them as well. So it's a good place to store them when you're not actually using them. But obviously, if you're looking for, I don't know, a, a tap that's 1.6, oh, we've got one in that machine. So you know exactly where it is and it can be called up straight away. What about the build quality of these machines? I mean, it stands to reason that they're a, they're a, a, a top quality machine in centre. They come with linear scales as standard, I believe. Um, what does that give a user? What, what's, what's, the, what's the benefit to the user of having that, yeah, that quality of, yeah, of product? I see what you mean. I think the, the service that comes with Quasar is second to none. There's always someone there if you need them. But the build quality, they're so well structured, they're so well beat. They're heavy machines, they've got a good floor space as well. So it means all that power is being sucked straight into the core of the machine. Also, you have the wash down systems which can evacuate the swarf. The swarf bins, which obviously take the swarf away. You've also got a high pressure cooler which can cool your machine down. And it's got a really fast axis travel as well, which means you can get them high speed cuts into your material. Well, because I also noticed from hearing from Mark, some of the, the surface finishes he's trying to attract on his components are only feasible because of the strategies that he's adopting. But that comes into the machines foundations as well doesn't it yeah definitely so it's not just the control panel and the programming obviously you can have a can system which able to do these amazing cuts but if you've got a cheap i don't want to say cheap and nasty machine it's not going to be able to produce the cuts you want so having a quasar high-end strategy with the hide non control is absolutely perfect now it's important to stress there's, there's no partnership between or collaboration between bridgeport and quasar however one of the things, again, Mark said, is the similarities between these machines and the build quality um, was one of the reasons he started down this path. Did you hear that a lot when you were in the field, that people were going from maybe Bridgeport VMCs up to the Quasars? Yeah, definitely. So Bridgeport are one of my favourite machines as well. They're, they're, they're sturdy, they're brilliant, they take good cuts. And I think Quasar are up there with the Bridgeport standards. And I think because Quasar are coming out with new models, new uh, machining strategies, everything like that, it's not taking over Bridgeport, but it's it's coming up to the same par, I would say, yeah. And, and do these come with BT50 as a possibility as BT50, well? BT50, yeah, bigger spindle. So normally you've got the BT40, but you can also have the BT50 spindle to get them. And would that power. big plus spindle help in what he's trying to do as well? Yeah, definitely. Look at, uh, the, you see the size of the machine as well. If you have a BT50 spindle, take them cuts, you can get more power. And even if you're doing, I don't know, 60 mil U drill, straight in, straight out, brilliant. Good stuff. Um, great testimonial taking place here as Lindsay talks to Mark. Be sure to come back to our channels um, to see what he's got to say himself about the installation of his five Quasar machines.